Hola amigos, ¿qué tal? Mi nombre es Fernando y este canal es Estudiando con Fernando, en el cual te ayudamos a prepararte lo mejor posible para el día de tu entrevista de ciudadanía de los Estados Unidos. El día de hoy te traemos una práctica muy realista de cómo sería una entrevista. Lo que intentamos con estas prácticas es ver qué tan preparado estás para responder una entrevista real en voz alta y sobre todo tu capacidad de reacción ante las preguntas. A veces nos cuesta trabajo entender las preguntas y sobre todo responderlas en voz alta. Pero es importante que este tipo de prácticas las tomes con mucha seriedad y respondas y actúes como si ya estuvieras en la entrevista. Te recomiendo practicar mucho este video porque entre más lo practiques, más cómodo te vas a sentir el día de tu entrevista. Si de repente hay alguna pregunta o algo que no entiendes o que no sabes cómo responder, te voy a dejar en la descripción de este video otro video muy parecido a este en el cual puedes encontrar las respuestas. Si te gustaría prepararte para responder una entrevista como esta y no tienes ninguna información, tenemos muchos videos aquí en nuestro canal de YouTube en el cual te damos todas las herramientas para que puedas responder una entrevista como esta. Ahora, si quisieras tener una preparación más organizada, ofrecemos un curso en línea en nuestra página cursosconfernando.com. Este curso cuenta con más de 50 clases en el cual te llevamos poco a poco sin importar tu nivel de inglés. Además, lo puedes estudiar a tu propio ritmo y a tus propios tiempos. Al adquirir el curso, también incluimos contacto directo con nosotros en el cual nos puedes enviar tus preguntas, tus dudas y que te ayudemos a formular las respuestas para el día de tu entrevista. Entonces, ya sabes, si quieres tener una preparación más organizada, visita nuestra página cursosconfernando.com. Muy bien, vamos a la práctica del día de hoy. Mucha suerte. Number C63. Number C63. Okay, follow me. Was there a long wait time for you? Okay, this way. We're gonna step into my office now, okay? After you. Please place your things down on the chair next to you. Please raise your right hand. Do you swear and affirm that the statements you will give and provide today will be the truth, the whole truth, and nothing but the truth? Okay, go ahead and take a seat. My name is Officer Gonzalez, and today I will be conducting your citizenship interview. Can you please place your permanent resident card, your ID, and your passports on the desk, please? Thank you. Now I'm going to begin your interview. I'm sure you're familiar with the civics questions, yes? Okay, we're gonna do the civics test. I'm gonna ask you a few questions. You need to answer six of them correctly. Who makes federal laws? What territory did the United States buy from France in 1803? Who is in charge of the executive branch? What are two rights in the Declaration of Independence? In what month do we vote for president? Who is the father of our country? When do we celebrate Independence Day? We elect a U.S. representative for how many years? Who was president during World War I? What major event happened on September 11, 2001 in the United States? Okay. Now I'm going to ask you to please read the following sentence out loud.
Now I'm going to ask you to please write the following sentence. Congress has 100 senators. Congress has 100 senators. Congress has 100 senators. Is everything up to date on your application? Are there any errors that you need to correct on your application? Nope. Okay. What is your full legal name? Have you ever used any other names in the past? What changes would you like to make to your name? When did you become a permanent resident? How did you become a permanent resident? Like, uh, where did you apply? Where were you born? Give me a minute, my system is a little bit slow today. What is your date of birth? What is your phone number? Give me the last four digits of your social security number, please. Just the last four, please. How tall are you and how much do you weigh? Are your parents U.S. citizens? What is your current address? I'm just verifying something here. How long have you lived at this address? Spell the name of the street, please. What is your previous address? And how long were you uh, living at this previous address? Are you married, single, or divorced? What is your spouse's name? Can you please spell the first name? Is your spouse a U.S. citizen?
How many years have you been married? What do you do for work? What is your employer's name? How long have you worked there? Please describe your job duties where you work. How many children do you have? What are their names? What are their ages? Are you the biological parent of your children? Were your children born in the United States? What date did you say that you became a permanent resident again? When was the last date that you traveled out of the United States? Where did you travel to? What date did you come back? Who traveled with you? Why do you think you qualify to become a U.S. citizen? How many trips have you taken out of the United States in the last five years? How many total days have you spent outside of the United States in the last five years? Do you owe any overdue federal, state, or local taxes? Have you ever not filed a federal, state, or local tax return since you became a lawful permanent resident? Have you ever called yourself a non-U.S. resident on a federal, state, or local tax return since you became a lawful permanent resident? Do you now have or did you ever have a hereditary title or an order of nobility in any foreign country? Have you ever been a member of or in any way associated, either directly or indirectly with, 
the Communist Party, any totalitarian party, or a terrorist organization. And can you tell me what is communism? Okay. Well, I see that you prepared yourself really good for this interview. That's good. Have you ever been removed, excluded, or deported from the United States? Have you ever been ordered, removed, excluded, or deported from the United States? Have you ever been placed in removal, exclusion, rescission, or deportation proceedings? Are removal, exclusion, rescission, or deportation proceedings currently pending against you? Have you ever been declared legally incompetent or been confined to a mental institution? What is a mental institution? Have you ever given any U.S. government officials any information or documentation that was false, fraudulent, or misleading? Have you ever lied to any U.S. government officials to gain entry or admission into the United States or to gain immigration benefits while in the United States? Have you ever been a member of involved in or in any way associated with any organization, association, fund, foundation, party, club, society, or similar group in the United States, or in any other location in the world? Have you ever claimed to be a U.S. citizen in writing or in any other way? Have you ever registered to vote in any federal, state, or local election in the United States? Have you ever committed, assisted in committing, or attempted to commit a crime or offense for which you were not arrested? Have you ever been arrested, cited, or detained by any law enforcement officer for any reason? Have you ever been charged with committing, attempting to commit, or assisting in committing a crime or offense? Have you ever been convicted of a crime or offense? Were you ever involved in any way with any of the following? Genocide, torture, killing or trying to kill someone, badly hurting or trying to hurt a person on purpose, forcing or trying to force someone to have any kind of sexual contact or relations, not letting someone practice his or her religion. That's no to all of them. Okay, were you ever a member of, or did you ever serve in, help or otherwise participate in any of the following groups? Military unit, paramilitary unit, police unit, self-defense unit, vigilante unit, rebel group, guerrilla group, militia, or an insurgent organization.
Were you ever in prison or jail back in your country of origin? Have you ever been placed in an alternative sentencing or a rehabilitative program? Do you know what a jail or prison is? What is a jail or prison? Have you ever received a suspended sentence, been placed on probation, or been paroled? Have you ever been in jail or prison? Okay, moving on. Have you ever been a habitual drunkard? Have you ever been a prostitute or procured anyone for prostitution? Have you ever sold or smuggled controlled substances, illegal drugs, or narcotics? Have you ever been married to more than one person at the same time? Have you ever married someone in order to obtain an immigration benefit? Have you ever helped anyone to enter or try to enter the United States illegally? Have you ever gambled illegally or received income from illegal gambling? Uh, tell me what is gambling? What does gambling mean? Have you ever failed to support your dependents or to pay alimony? Have you ever made any misrepresentation to obtain any public benefit in the United States? Uh, can you tell me what a habitual drunkard means? What is a habitual drunkard? If the law requires it, are you willing to bear arms on behalf of the United States? Have you ever advocated, either directly or indirectly, the overthrow of any government by force or violence? Have you ever persecuted, either directly or indirectly, any person because of race, religion, national origin, membership in a particular social group, or political opinion? Between March 23rd, 1933 and May 8th, 1945, did you work for or associate in any way with the Nazi government of Germany? Were you ever part of any group or did you ever help any group, unit, or organization that use a weapon against any person or threatened to do so? Did you ever sell, give, or provide weapons to any person? or help another person sell, give, or provide weapons to any person? Did you ever receive any type of military, paramilitary, or weapons training? If the law requires it, are you willing to perform non-combatant services in the U.S. Armed Forces? Did you ever recruit 
enlist, conscript, or use any person under 15 years of age to serve in or help an armed force or group? Did you ever use any person under 15 years of age to do anything that helped or supported people in combat? Are you a male who lived in the United States at any time between your 18th and 26th birthdays? Have you ever served in the U.S. Armed Forces? If the law requires it, are you willing to perform work of national importance under civilian directions? Do you support the Constitution and form of government of the United States? What is the form of government of the United States? Do you understand the full oath of allegiance to the United States? Are you willing to take the full oath of allegiance to the United States? Okay, now you're gonna verify that all of the information is correct and you're gonna sign and print your name. One thing to remember is that you're not a US citizen yet. You're gonna get a letter in the mail with the time, place, and date of your oath ceremony. Once you take the oath of allegiance and you have your certificate, that's when you become a US citizen. It's important to understand that, okay? Here is another document to verify the information. You're going to sign and print your name. And this does conclude our interview for today. ¿Qué tal? ¿Cómo te fue con la práctica? Espero te ha ido excelente. Si así fue, déjalo en los comentarios. Comenta también qué otro tipo de videos te gustaría que hiciéramos para ayudarte. Si tienes tu entrevista esta semana, te deseamos toda la suerte del mundo. Si no tienes tu entrevista aún, no te preocupes. Seguiremos trabajando todos juntos para que ir lo mejor preparado para ese día tan importante. Nos vemos en el próximo video. Chao.